There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang, Dan here and welcome to day 14 of the 30 day challenge and yes, I've finally taken your advice. I've received uh, numerous emails and Twitters. Um, I've had a haircut and a bit of a shave. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be teaching you to use a service called Tumblr. Now Tumblr is very much like hub pages and Squidoo. We're using it to build um, authoritative backlinks into your main um, WordPress direct blog. And Tumblr is a pretty simple service to use, um, but there's a couple of guidelines. Um, first of all, Tumblr needs to be treated uh, carefully. We don't want you to put a load of junk content on there. And Tumblr itself is designed as a blogging site. So ultimately, the content you create for Tumblr should um, appear to be or be a blog and written in a blog type form. So first of all, let's head off to Tumblr and um, we'll get started. OK, this is the Tumblr homepage. And at the top here, you can see sign up. So we're going to do this. Okay, and sign up process is really simple, really quick, and the first thing you need to do is enter your email address. I can't spell this one. Okay, and enter a password. Now, most important step here is to make sure that your main keyword phrase is entered into this box here. And so obviously for the vintage electric guitar, we're going to put that in here. And sign up and start posting. Yes, remember the password. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple. We've created the, uh, the very basic Tumblr blog. And now we need to go and change a few of the settings in there to make this um, optimize for us. So to do so, first of all, click on Customize. And right at the very top here, it says Untitled. And you can guess what we need to change this to. And you can also put in a brief description. Now again, you can max that paragraph out and make it a little bit more attractive. Um, again, this will be used on Tumblr's own directory. So again, it's an additional link um, for yourself. So uh, make sure you main keyword phrases in there and if you can stick a, another you know, long tail phrase in there too. Now you can upload a personal photograph. It isn't necessary uh, at the moment. So we'll just use get the, the very basics we need to get started. Um, so we're going to save the changes on that. And actually, I meant to do something else. So next thing, the theme. Now, there's not a hugest range of the world, the hugest range in the world of themes here. So I generally just pick something really simple, and I kind of like uh, that one. So I'm going to pick that. And then, if you want to, you can actually go ahead and modify all the individual colors. Um, if you, if you really want to. It's not necessary at all, so we'll just move on to the next one. Now, one thing with Tumblr, you can also add in a feed from another source, um, and you can do this at this tab here, and you can put in the URL to another uh, feed. And the, the important thing here is you can only put in a feed which you actually own yourself. Um, they don't like feeds coming from news sources and, and sites like that. Um, otherwise, they will potentially suspend your account. So, most importantly, um, make sure that these two boxes at the top, so we've gone to the directory tab, and make sure these two boxes are ticked, which is allow search engines to index your Tumblr log, and promote me on Tumblr. And then finally, you need to do this. Go to the advanced tab at the top, show 10 posts per page is fine, um, but you need to tick this, ping the blogosphere. And that way, again, when, when you um, add a post 
to Tumblr, it'll go out and ping all the different services and let them know that you've got new content there. And ultimately, Google will then go and pick up that content and index um, and hopefully rank your blog. So they're the basic settings. So first things first, we'll save the changes. And this is the main dashboard now. And the dashboard is where you can add your content. So you can put in videos, audios, and um, see so at the bottom here, you can click on like text, photo, quote, link. And these are pretty much self-explanatory. And all we really need to do now to get going is to click on the text entry. Okay, so add a text post and vintage electric guitar. And then you put in the body of the post. Now, like I said in the, at the beginning, um, you really want this post to sound like a, a blog post. So it's like, like a, a real person would be uh, creating a blog about something they're passionate and interested in. So I'm just going to paste in some text I wrote before. And there is something about owning instruments from a certain age that really captivates me. My personal favorites are vintage electric guitars and vintage acoustic guitars. And over the years, my collection has increased dramatically. In particular, I collect vintage electric guitars that were made around the mid to late 50s as they were really part of my youth. Not. Um, which is obviously something I'm trying to recapture. In future posts, I'll be detailing some of the collection and telling you about some of the guitars on my most coveted list. So as you say, that sounds like, you know, somebody is just creating a Tumblr blog because they want to tell the world about their passion for vintage electric guitars. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight our main keyword phrase again. And we're going to add a hyperlink, which is this little button here. So you click that. And this window will pop up. And in here, we're going to put in the URL to our main WordPress direct blog, which is vintage electric guitars. Blog. Come. and we're going to open that in a new window and the title of that this is another important thing when putting in a hyperlink um, you should use what we call alt tags um, in HTML and these basically tell Google what that link is about so in this it's vintage electric guitar and certain like screen readers for disabled people use this and Google likes these tags to be in there again it's another way to tell Google what the hyperlink is about so where when, when people actually go to that link what that content is about so again it's vintage electric guitar and click insert and that's your basic post so again just click down here create post and we're done and as you can see this is your post here and to actually see your site live you can go up to the account tab here and click on my tumble log and there you go site live and if you look at the top in my address bar my address is vintage electric guitar.tumblr.com now again like we say every time you create a new piece of content you need to make sure that you go to social marker and submit the site to um, the various different social bookmarking platforms this will a make sure that you get indexed by google and ultimately will give some weight to this blog which then will be transferred to your WordPress direct blog. And remember, here's your RSS feed here, so you can literally copy link location. Um, and then, well, I'll show you another video what we can do with the RSS feeds. Uh, but for now, just take your URL, which is at the top here, and go and submit it to Social Marker and go through all the different services. And that's pretty much it. I say Tumblr is very, very simple, very easy to use. You can trick out your blog, um, but ultimately, Right at this very moment, what you really need to be doing is just making sure that there's a, a one piece of content on there which sounds like a natural blog post um, with one link which goes through to your main WordPress direct blog. All right, gang, until my next video, I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye. There is no charge for awesomeness.